Chapter 33 This is the blessing that Moses, the man of God, gave to the people of Israel before his death. The Lord came from Mount Sinai and dawned upon us from Mount Seir. He shone forth from Mount Peran and came from Meribah Kadesh with flaming fire at his right hand. Indeed, you love the people, all your holy ones are in your hands. They follow in your steps and accept your instruction. Moses charged us with the law, the special possession of the assembly of Israel. The Lord became king in Israel when the leaders of the people assembled, when the tribes of Israel gathered. Moses said this about the tribe of Reuben. Let the tribe of Reuben live and not die out, even though their tribe is small. Moses said this about the tribe of Judah. O Lord, hear the cry of Judah, and bring them again to their people. Give them strength to defend their cause. Help them against their enemies. Moses said this about the tribe of Levi. O Lord, you have given the sacred lots to your faithful servants, the Levites. You put them to the test at Massa and contended with them at the waters of Meribah. The Levites obeyed your word and guarded your covenant. They were more loyal to you than to their parents, relatives, and children. Now let them teach your regulations to Jacob. Let them give your instructions to Israel. They will present incense before you and offer whole burnt offerings on the altar. Bless the Levites, O Lord, and accept all their work. Crush the loins of their enemies, strike down their foes, so they never rise again. Moses said this about the tribe of Benjamin. The people of Benjamin are loved by the Lord and live in safety beside him. He surrounds them continuously and preserves them from every harm. Moses said this about the tribes of Joseph. May their land be blessed by the Lord with the choice gift of rain from the heavens and water from beneath the earth, with the riches that grow in the sun and the bounty produced each month, with the finest crops of the ancient mountains and the abundance from the everlasting hills, with the best gifts of the earth and its fullness and the favor of the one who appeared in the burning bush. May these blessings rest on Joseph's head, crowning the brow of the prince among his brothers. Joseph has the strength and majesty of a young bull. His power is like the horns of a wild ox. He will gore distant nations, driving them to the ends of the earth. This is my blessing for the multitudes of Ephraim and the thousands of Manasseh. Moses said this about the tribes of Zebulun and Issachar. May the people of Zebulun prosper in their expeditions abroad. May the people of Issachar prosper at home in their tents. They summon the people to the mountain to offer proper sacrifices there. They benefit from the riches of the sea and the hidden treasures of the sand. Moses said this about the tribe of Gad. Blessed is the one who enlarges Gad's territory. Gad is poised there like a lion to tear off an arm or a head. The people of Gad took the best land for themselves. A leader's share was assigned to them. When the leaders of the people were assembled, they carried out the Lord's justice and obeyed his regulations for Israel. Moses said this about the tribe of Dan. Dan is a lion's cub leaping out from Bashan. Moses said this about the tribe of Naphtali. O oh, Naphtali, you are rich in favor and full of the Lord's blessings. May you possess the west and the south. Moses said this about the tribe of Asher. May Asher be blessed above other sons. May he be esteemed by his brothers. May he bathe his feet in olive oil. May the bolts of your gates be of iron and bronze. May your strength match the length of your days. There is no one like the God of Israel. He rides across the heavens to help you, across the skies in majestic splendor. The eternal God is your refuge, and his everlasting arms are under you. He thrusts out the enemy before you. It is he who cries, destroy them. So Israel will live in safety, prosperous Jacob in security, in a land of grain and wine, while the heavens drop down dew. How blessed you are, O Israel! Who else is like you, a people saved by the Lord? He is your protecting shield and your triumphant sword. Your enemies will bow low before you and you will trample on their backs.